Cobra is known for delivering speed in their golf clubs, but they do not forget about the club fitting aspects of club design. And this is proved in the Cobra MyFly adjustable hosel. Today, we're gonna to show you everything you need to know about the MyFly hosel and how to adjust your Cobra club. At second swing, we want you to play clubs that fit your swing. And if one of those clubs is a Cobra driver, fairywood, or even a hybrid, it's important to know about the Cobra MyFly 8 adjustable hosel. Here are some things to take note of when making adjustments to your Cobra club. The MyFly hosel features a total of eight settings that allow golfers to adjust the loft up or down by 1.5 degrees. The settings that increase the loft will slightly close the club face. Meanwhile, the settings that decrease the loft will slightly open the club face. So, for example, if your ball flight is too high and you wanted to reduce the flight by using the minus 1.0 setting, it's important to note that the club will set up slightly open compared to the setting you're used to. Also of note, there are three draw settings indicated with a D. Standard draw, minus 1.0 draw, and plus 1.0 draw. These settings promote a draw by creating a more upright lie angle than the other settings. This can be very advantageous for golfers that might struggle with the slice. Now let's go over actually making an adjustment to your Cobra Club. So today I've got a Cobra Rad Speed XB driver. Uh, I've got the standard setting right now with a 10.5 degree driver indicated by the letters here in the hosel window. But let's say you've been struggling with a high slice and you'd like to first of all promote a draw but also maybe decrease that ball flight, hit it a little bit lower. So what I'm going to do then is adjust this into the minus 1.0 draw setting. So first of all, you got to take your wrench, insert it, and you rotate counterclockwise to loosen and then eventually detach the club head. Next on the hosel, you'll see all the eight settings as you rotate. You just need to search for minus 1.0 draw indicated here. Then you got to line up the hosel window. Make sure as you set the club head back onto the shaft that the setting that you want, in this case, minus 1.0 with the D, is in the hosel window. And then what you have to do is reinsert the wrench into the screw and rotate clockwise. And as it tightens, you got to make sure you hear that loud click. Then your club is ready to swing. With this information, hopefully you can get your Cobra Club dialed in, whether that's on the practice range or right before the first tee. If you have any more questions, make sure you contact one of our expert master club fitters and we'll get you dialed in. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.